we we will move off of that one because I, I would rather spend time on this next team, and that would be the Cincinnati Bearcats. 24-13 over Notre Dame, and Notre Dame had three turnovers in the first half, and it just, it, going back and watching this on like those, just the 30-minute highlight thing, going through the key plays kind of deal, I, I was shocked at almost how, how easy Cincinnati made it look. Like, did it look like that to you when you were watching the game? It was very much a uh, bend but don't break offense or defense, yeah. which 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 I kind of thought was going to be needed. The the you know Notre Dame is going down for the very first drive of the game. They get in the red zone and it looks like Notre Dame's about to score. They've driven the ball down Cincinnati's throat pretty easily, and and Cincinnati just picks the ball off. They he just yeah. they just wait. And they give you opportunity, and they give you opportunity, and they just just wait for you to make the mistake. That's what this is how they have played football all year long. They are so disciplined. They're willing to give you five yards. They're willing to give you eight yards. They're willing to give you ten yards. That they just know that if you have to matri- if you have to go on an eleven play drive at some point in time in those eleven plays, you're going to make a mistake. And when you do, we will take it. And he took it. And and then the, the exact same thing happened again. Different quarterback, different situation. They just they just give you so much, and then they have an opportunity and they take it. Desmond Ritter played well. He didn't play outstanding, but he played good enough to be a pretty good defense at on the road in, 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 a, in a pretty pretty wild hostile environment. You know, we got a friend there that that was there, and and and, and that listens to the show, Taylor, and he DMs us all the time and stuff. And he says it was it was about as loud as he's ever seen it. You know, he's been there for the last you know couple of years at school, and and he says that that was one of the loudest atmospheres he's been around. I think everybody knew uh, what the situation was, right? It, you this this could be for a playoff spot for both teams. It was a massive. Massive game. Uh, neither one allowed the other team to rush the ball at all. Nope. Uh, you had 89 yards rushing on 30 attempts for Cincinnati. You had 84 rushing on 28 attempts for for Notre Dame. Uh, did you have you seen all the different tweets about maybe maybe Brian Kelly was just a sleeper agent for Cincinnati <laughs> and he was sent to Notre Dame years ago, looking ahead to exactly this moment. Like it, all that stuff kind of cracked me up. I, I know it's all a joke, but I don't, I don't care about any of that. It certainly, certainly cracked me up. But again, there were a ton of storylines. We talked about it on the show on Friday. Just a lot that went into this game, and you know, three turnovers in the first half for Notre Dame was almost the death knell for them. And and they found a way to fight back. And I thought it was pretty respectable that they were able to get back in this ball game. They they've got a crazy schedule coming up. They got you know headed to Lane Stadium next week. Uh, with Virginia Tech, but I don't see anything out of this team that would make me think that they are not going to be consistently de- like good the rest of the yeah. season. Like this is still like a ten win team to me. That's right. So no, no. I, I was going to say I'm I'm going to have I, I've looked at that schedule. If they play the way they've played so far, I don't see many losses on this schedule. I don't know that I see another one. I mean, I could see them well, being a one loss team. I will tell you this: if if they turn the ball over three times in the first half uh, against you know Virginia Tech, USC, but North Carolina, or whatever, no, then, no, yeah. there no none of these other teams his, historically Virginia Tech used to be that Beaver ball, take the ball away, score on special teams kind of team. I don't know that that team's that team today. Okay, none of the other defenses in front of them are anywhere close to as good as Cincinnati's. Yeah. Yeah. So, so to say that if you do this, no, Cincinnati took those balls away. They didn't give them. They didn't make mistakes. I don't think those. I don't think the two interceptions were bad throws. <laughs> I think. I think the defensive guys made a hell of a move on the football. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're you're not wrong about that. You're not wrong. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.